it is interesting, fascinating to carry out research activities as a chemical engineer. The history of technological development has seen the advent of different materials. One such material that is making a tremendous impact in all fields of science today is graphene. So this graphene is available from our day-to-day -day activities which we use today, which is the pencil. So this graphene has exceptional physical and chemical properties that has been discovered from the pencil trace and is expected to make remarkable changes on the contribution to our human society. So graphene is discovered by the School of Physics professors Andrew Guy and Kostya Novoslov. So they just synthesized this graphene by just using a piece of pencil and just marking them as a layer and by using a simple scotch tape by extracting the layer by layer of this graphite and finally they get the graphene. If you could see the end material graphene is just a single sheet of carbon. As you could see the structure is just a plain sheet which makes the transport of substances across the surface much more faster with less resistance than other conventional carbon materials available today. As a result of this structure, this material has found to be extensive properties like the best electrical conductor, the better mechanical strength than steel, and, and best endurance and other stability characteristics. So as a result of this physical and chemical properties, this graphene is getting enhanced attention in different applications like the smartphones, electronic, sensors, and the medical and biological fields, et cetera, and et cetera. My project is based on using this graphene for energy applications and how we are going to use in a safe and environmental friendly manner. Yes, energy. Energy is playing a dominant role in our day-to-day -day activities. We need this electrical energy to power our laptops, smartphones, to run our household and even industrial appliances. Did we notice that the demand for energy keeps increasing day by day? So we use the different sorts of devices like the batteries, internal combustion engines, and supercapacitors to power our needs. But all these devices have significant drawbacks in one or more different forms. If you take the case of batteries and internal combustion engines, we have the severe problem of the pollution and material disposal techniques. Some may argue that we have like renewable energy sources like the tidal and the solar energy. Yes, we do have, but they are expensive. At the same time, we have the problem with engineering installation. I mean, they have severe problems when it comes to end user applications. So what are the impact or the result of using these devices? It's the pollution. We have been using them for a long time. So what is our target of the human society? It's energy in a safe and environmental friendly manner. So we need to look for a new device. And one such device is the fuel cell in which my project is based on. So the fuel cell is a device which produces electrical energy by using simple liquid fuels as alcohols. So you just feed alcohol into the system, and at the end, you get electrical energy. So this fuel cell operates in a safe and environmental friendly manner that there is no release of harmful pollutants during its operation. Then this operates in a zero noise mode, that there is no noise generated during its operation which is like significant when you take the case of internal combustion engines. You, re you generate like heavy noise when you go for start up and end. And the infrastructure, it is much more simpler and very simple to make it to an end user application. So these factors make the fuel cell has an edge or an advantage over conventional energy sources used these days. If you take the closer look into the operation of the fuel cell. 
This is uh, the engine room of the fuel cell. It consists of uh, mechanical components like electrodes and the membranes assembled together to form the engine room. So I just feed the methanol solution, and I can utilize air which is available abundant in our atmosphere. So as a result of this chemical reaction taking place, we have the flow of the electrons and the protons, which are responsible for the output, power output. So we researchers work with different materials to enhance the rate of the reaction, just to improve the power efficiency of the fuel cell. Thus, though fuel cells have a significant edge or advantage, one of the main hindrances or the obstacle preventing the commercial aspect of the fuel cell is a crossover phenomena. Because we use the liquid fuel, one of the drawbacks here is the liquid fuel has a tendency to diffuse from one region to the other region. As a result of this diffusion, we have the undesired reaction taking place. In an ideal case, this methanol should react only on one side, but this has the tendency to move to the other side. So as a result, I have the undersea reaction. So one of the strategies I just used was add a barrier layer just to prevent the passage or the movement of the methanol. But we, in the membrane aspect too, we as a researchers face several problems. We have to take care of two things. One is the good guy, which is the transfer of the, the proton. And we also need to prevent the movement of methanol. So researchers are facing, we have been facing for difficulties for so many decades to create a balance of this good guy and to prevent the undersea reaction. So we have been using like so many materials like nanotubes, the kitchen black, I mean like forefathers of the graphene material. So our idea, based on discussions with the School of Physics and the National Graphene Institute, we found the properties of graphene can be also be tuned for the fuel cell application, which can make a great impact for the energy industries. So what we did was, we used a single layer of graphene on one side of the, the fuel cell, just to impede the flow of methanol. And to our surprise, we found a tremendous improvement in performance of the energy system, up to 50%. <coughs> this is considered a remarkable improvement when you compare to other carbon materials or other materials used so far in the history of fuel cell. So as you could see, this is the actual power performance curve of the fuel cell. This fuel cell produces power, so we characterize them in terms of power density. We extract the energy and we get is the power density. The blue one indicates the engine room using the materials supplied from the company, the standard system. So when we added the graphene layer to the standard system, the power was shooting from 50 to 75 milliwatt per cm squared. This has been considered a significant milestone in the fuel cell research. At the same time, we need to remember that the graphene is the first 2D material ever discovered. The thickness, it can be determined like maybe 1,000 times thinner than the human hair. So when I use the fuel cell using the graphene, actually I can't determine the thickness from my naked eyes. So I need to go for highly sophisticated techniques to actually confirm the thickness. So remember, so apart from this tremendous performance improvement, there is a possibility for all the energy devices used these days to undergo a massive reduction in size. Overall, of using the graphene in the fuel cell, we get enhanced power output in a safe and environmental friendly manner. Also, we generate the water, which is the characteristic, the future of the fuel cell. Apart from that, in addition to all these things, we have the possibility for all these devices to undergo a thousand times reduction in size. Imagine you can think of the laptops, the smartphones, or any other devices that produces power to undergo a massive reduction in size. So based on the results obtained, we are trying to collaborate 
with the companies to use this actual fuel cell for the automotive, industrial, and like mobile applications as well. So if this graphene is properly utilized and more research is carried out, this graphene could make the fuel cell stand as a significant energy device when as a, and as a competitor to batteries, supercapacitors, or internal combustion engines, and even renewable energy sources. The future could be realized in such a way that piece of graphene paper could be used to power our homemade and industrial appliances in a safe and a friendly manner. So we believe this graphene could make a remarkable changes to the human society in which we perceive the energy device. Thank you.